Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking Chrysler Pacificas. However, this will work on Jeep Dodge Ram as well. In the event that you have your key fob, however, you cannot unlock and start your vehicle, we're going to show you how to do that. Let's take a look. All right, DIYers. Hey, before we head out to the garage and perform this hidden feature with your key fob and onboard computer, we are going to break down the key fob so we can truly simulate and configure ourselves the exact same way you are. In other words, your key fob is not working. It is unable to unlock nor lock your vehicle nor start your engine. And on top of that, you are likely getting the key fob not detected annunciation on your instrument cluster. So again, we want to break down our key fob and configure it in a way that matches what you are experiencing. And we're doing this because our key fob has a new battery and it is working as designed. And if we didn't break it down and remove the battery, well, we wouldn't be able to perform the hidden feature that we're about to show you. So again, grabbing the key fob and looking at it upright as shown here. On the very bottom, you can see the panic push button and coming directly down here with the key ring. And you've got a small little push button and go ahead and carefully push that and simultaneously pull your hidden key carefully out of your key fob, as you see right there. And I'm going to set that aside. As you can see, the R is right here. The key fob itself is completely broke down and nothing is going to work because again, we have removed the battery and we are now configured the exact same way you probably are configured. Your key fob is not being detected by the vehicle's onboard computer. And from here, I'm not even going to take this part to the garage. I'm going to shift that aside. We are going to take these two parts, again, the hidden key and the key fob portion that has all the electronic coded features inside and the battery housing. All right, DIY is inside the garage now. And on the other side of our 91 Z24 Cavalier is our 2018 Chrysler Pacifica. Here we are driver's side looking at the driver's side door handle and this is the only door that has the lock and unlock key cylinder as shown right here. No other door on our Pacifica has a lock or unlock cylinder. So again, with that said, the door is unlocked right now. You'll notice I can open it and close it. And in addition, I've grabbed the key fob as well as the key here. And if I push the unlock or lock, you'll notice nothing happens. Even to open the door, nothing. Again, the key fob is completely dead without the battery. And what I'm going to do now is grab that key that we removed and I'm going to carefully insert it into the cylinder. And in your case, it's locked, so you will turn it to the right to unlock it. However, ours is already unlocked, so we are actually going to cycle this cylinder once before performing this procedure. You may not actually have to do this, However, it might be best to, and I say that because in the event that you don't, when it comes time to opening the door after unlocking it, if your Pacifica has a built-in alarm system, well, chances are it is going to activate and honk your horn aggressively. So again, just a heads up on that. We are going to turn it counterclockwise to lock it. As you see there, we cannot open it. We can't even use our key fob to unlock it. From here, we are going to turn this key clockwise and unlock it. We are going to take that out and we are going to open the door. And again, we recommend cycling it counterclockwise and leaving it for about three seconds and then shift the key and key cylinder clockwise to unlock it. And that will alleviate your alarm system from activating and honking the horn at this portion of the project. Here we are inside the vehicle and I am sitting driver's seat as you see here looking at the instrument cluster and on top of the steering wheel or center portion is our key fob. Again, no battery and completely broke down. And to the right there is our selector knob for our transmission settings and control panel. And directly down here is our start stop push button and we will get to that here shortly. However, again, completely broke down. Nothing works. No unlock, no lock, nothing. And I am going to grab that with my right hand and I'm going to come down below. I'm going to turn on the light real quick. There we go. And you see a better view of the engine start stop push button. And down below, here is my brake pedal. I'm going to apply some friendly pressure, not too hard, not too little. And as I simultaneously push and hold that brake pedal, I'm going to use the key fob as shown here. And I'm going to position it in a way where the top tip right here 
can mate or contact with the engine start stop push button and push this button in to start the engine and that is going to allow the frequency of both the key fob and onboard computer to communicate with each other and start the engine and what i want to do first i'm going to take my foot off the pedal i'm going to push the start stop and i'm going to come up here and i want to show you that our key fob again as it is configured is not detected Again, positioned as shown here, friendly pressure on the brake pedal down below and push the start stop push button with your top tip portion of your key fob. And we are up and running, check that out. And DIYers, that is the hidden feature of your key fob to get the key fob to communicate with the onboard computer when it is completely dead of voltage or battery. So again, at this point, we recommend replacing the internal battery of your key fob and scrolling above right now is a link to a video that shows just replacing the battery. And DIYers, that is it. We hope this helps. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That'd be very helpful to us. We really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.